What's going on guys, John Elder here from Codeby.com and in this video, we're going to make some style modifications to our friends list app with Ruby on Rails. Alright guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to make a few style modifications to our app. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube one to get $30 off membership with all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee at just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, we are moving right along with our friends list app. I went in here and added a few more friends so we can, you know, have something more to look at here. And in this video, I want to make a few changes to this overall app. We want to probably get rid of most of these and maybe add a button here instead of this link. We want to combine the first and last name into one name. We want to make that name clickable. So instead of having a show link here, we can just click on the name. You can see right now you can't click on it. And uh, we might do a few more things. So right now, as it is, when you log in, you know, or when you come to the web page, this is the screen that it shows. And maybe we want our friends list app to be our homepage, this app itself. And, you know, obviously we'll have to make a modification to where whether you're logged in or not, because if you're not logged in, you don't have a friends list, but we can do that. So let's change that real quick. And this is a very quick change to make this into the, the main homepage. So let's head over to our code and let's clean some of these up here. Let's head to our config directory and our routes file. Remember, this is the file that handles all of our URLs and our routes. And right now the root route is home index, all right? So I can, I'm gonna copy this and paste it again and comment this out so we can remember that this is what it was originally. But if we wanna change it to our friends page, we would just change this to friends index, right? Because if we look in our controllers here, we have two controllers. We have the home controller, this one, and we have our friends controller this one. We're saying, hey, inside the friends controller, use index as the main route. And index in the friends controller is just our index page, this guy right here, this method, right? So if we head back here and save this, and then come back to our app and just hit reload, boom, now the main page is our app. Now, if we sign out, though, and we go to the main page, we just see this because there isn't anything. So that's not great. So let's change that real quick. Let's head over to rubygems.org and look up device again. Because if you remember, we go to the device homepage, device has a helper that shows if a user's logged in or not, which is what we really need to know. So let's scroll down here and come to our controller filters and helpers, and we can use this user signed in. So if we copy this, and head back over to our code. And let's go to our, let's see, controller. No, we want the home page, which is now our friends page. So let's close some of these. So let's go to app, views, friends, index. So this is our main index page. So we can come up here and make some embedded Ruby. And we can go, if user signed in, then do all of this stuff, right? Let me tab this over. And then we can come down to the bottom here and say else. And then we also need to close this. So let's put our end. So we can say else, do something else. So let's go to our home page, our old home page. So let's go to views, home, index. And this was our old home page. So I'm just going to copy this, bring it back over here, and inside of here, just sort of paste this in. And this is sort of a hacky way to do it, but this will get the job done. So now if we come back here and reload, we see it says hello world because we're not logged in, right? Now if we do sign in, uh, let's sign in real quick. And then go to our home page. Now our home page shows this. So, okay, that's cool. So that's one thing we can do. Next, let's let's modify this table so that it shows the first and last name together in one sort of field. So we won't have a first name and a last name. We'll just have a name, right? So let's do that. That's super easy. We can come up here to the top of our index page, our friends index. So app views friends index.html. And then right here, instead of first name, I'm going to change this to name. And I'm just going to get rid of this table header for last name. 
And now we can come down here to our actual table. And inside of here, here is where it says first name, and here's where it says last name. So I'm just gonna change this. Let me just kind of change that. There we go. And let me just put all this over here so it's easy to read for a minute. And then we can copy this one as well and put it next to there. Let's put a space between them. So we can get rid of this TD that has the last name, right? And that looks good. So let's sort of tab this over. We don't have to, but we can. Okay, so let's save this, reload it, see what this looks like. Okay, so now it just says name, John Elder, Gina Smith. I think that looks a little bit better than having a first and a last column, right? So, okay, that's cool. Now we want to make this clickable. So we can click on the name and it'll go to the show page, right? So, okay, that's easy. We can just head back over here and let's come down here and look for the show code. So here is the link to show. So I'm just going to copy this, bring it up here to this section. And let's tab these over again so they're easier to read. And I'm just going to paste it in. So here is the link text or the tag, the anchor tag of the link, show. But instead of show, we want this. So what we can do is just change that. And let me put this on separate lines so it's easier to read again. All right, so then we can get rid of that. So if we save this and reload, this will just make the first name a link. Oops, no, we can't put these on separate lines. All right, let's put this back. Boom. Boom. Okay, so now that'll work. Reload. So now John, Tina, Bob, and Mary, the last name is still not. So we can do a little concatenating with our code here. So we can put friend's first name, then we can put plus, and then we can put friend's well, then we need a space. So let's put a space with quotation marks then another plus, and then we can do last name so and get rid of this. Now, this is kind of sloppy because my screen is scrunched, but you've got the link to tag. This stuff is, well, we need, don't need a space there. There we go. This stuff is the first name, a space, and then the last name. And then the link is actually pointing to the friend page. So, okay, save this, come back reload. Okay. So John Elder, Tina Smith. Okay. So now if we click on this, it goes to the show page. Okay. That's cool. So now we might want to get rid of this show link here. We don't really need that anymore. So we can come up here to the top and here we see a call span three. That is one, two, three, these three columns, right? And it's spanning across all of them. So we need to change that to call span two. And then we can come down here to the Let's see, show thing and just delete it. So if we save this and reload, boom, that disappears. Now, maybe we wanna get rid of this edit as well because we can go straight to edit here, but we can also click here and then click edit. And, you know, that's easy enough for me. I think this is kind of cluttered here. So I'm gonna get rid of this edit link completely because we don't really need it. So I'm gonna come up here the top here and instead of call span two, we don't need to call span any now because it's just going to be one. Uh, so we can just put a space there or whatever and come down here to the edit and let's get rid of that. Okay. Reload. Okay. That's looking good. And now maybe we want to change this from a link to a button. So let's head over to get bootstrap real quick. See what we can find button wise. We click on documentation, come to components, click on buttons and uh, danger red. I kind of like that because we're deleting something anyway. That's sort of dangerous. Maybe we'll use this outline one. So that is, let's see. This. So, okay. And we can also make it small by calling BTN small if we want to make this a small button, which I think would probably look good. So let's do that. So we come down to our destroy. And instead of destroy, I'm going to call this delete, save this reload. I think delete looks better, seems better, but now let's change this into a button. Come to the end of this and just slap a comma on here and let's give this a class colon. 
and we could just paste in BTN, BTN outline danger. Save this, reload it. Okay, that's kind of cool. And that's a big button. Maybe we want to change it to small button so we can just put BTN slash dash SM. Save that, come back, reload. Okay, so it's a little smaller. Yeah, looking good. Are you sure? No. Okay, so what else can we do? Well, if somehow somebody stumbles onto here and they want to edit this, well, we've got it to where they can't. So if they click on this, it'll go to a page that says you must be logged in as we learned in the last video. So maybe we can leave that there, but maybe right here or maybe right here on the edit page, maybe we want to put a delete button here. So we've got show and we've got update and we've got back, but we don't really have a delete. So let's add a delete button onto here. I think that would be useful. So, okay, head back over here to our code and that's going to be the edit page. So we can, well, first let's copy this delete link right here because we're basically going to use this again. So highlight this and copy it, right click copy. And let's go to our edit page. And here's our links, show and back. And I think after show, maybe we want to paste that in. We want this delete and BTN outline. I don't want to outline. I want it just to be a regular button. So we just want BTN dash danger and we don't need it to be a small button. Now notice this, all of these say at friend and this one just says friend. And that's because on the index page, when we pull everything from the database uh, right here, we're pulling at friends and we're getting everything. And then we have to loop through everything and make them each something individual that we can put onto the screen. And the, the variable we created for that is friend. So we, we see here it says friend, 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 friend. It doesn't say anywhere at friend because at friend was right here. That's the loop we loop through, right? Well, on the edit page, we're not pulling everything out of the database. We're just pulling one friend. So we don't have to loop through it. So all of these are just referenced as at friend. So here we have to change this one to at friend too. So then we can link to, we can delete. Uh, we get all the same stuff that should work. So let's come back here and let's see, let's, let's delete Mary here. So, we want to edit her. We see a delete button. Are you sure? Friend was successfully destroyed and Mary is now gone. We can add her back if we want. Mary Friender. <laughs> Mary at friender.com. And at Mary. And now she's back again. Uh, maybe we want to put that same delete button on the show page. Maybe, I don't know, we could. So let's come back and look at our show page. And again, I'm just going to copy this whole thing. Let's go to our show page here. And down here at the bottom, we've got edit and we've got back. So like right here, try that, save this, come back, hit reload, edit, delete and back. We click delete. Are you sure she's deleted and now she's gone again. And if we want, we can add her back again. Mary Friender. We like old Mary, Mary at friender.com and at Mary. And now she's back again. Okay. So we are starting to come right along here. Very cool. If we sign out again and go back to our app, we still see this actual page, but if we actually sign in and go to our home page, now the home page is this. So I guess we really don't need our friends, this friends link up here anymore, right? Because it's just the home page. We can always just click here. So let's get rid of this friends link at the top. So real quick, head over to our home, no layouts. Let's see. Uh, no, it is home header. Remember, this is our nav bar page and we can come down here and look for our friends. And there it is. Is that it? Friends? Yep. So if we wanted to, we could just bop, get rid of that one, save it. Reload it. Now it's gone up here. 
We can still add a friend and we can go home to see the actual friends list, but uh, very cool. And we are coming right along. So not a whole lot of very important stuff in this video, but you know, little odds and ends that uh, kind of make the whole thing look a little nicer. Uh, we've got links here now for this. We've gotten rid of some of those things here. We don't really need this user ID thing anymore. So I guess we could take that off. So let's go back real quick to our index page of our friends. And let's come up here and get rid of user ID column. Boom, boom. And then just come down here and look for the friend.userid. Get rid of that. Save it, reload it. Okay, so now we've just got the name, email, phone, and Twitter, and then a delete. Maybe we want to take the delete off as well because you know we can click on any one of these to delete it. I'll leave that up to you. Uh, but yeah, coming right along and uh, pretty simple. So that's all for this video. If you like to be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off memberships. We pay just $49 to access all my courses, over 45 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 100,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.